Hey guys, Brendan here with Battle of the Tools. In this video, we have the Graco Magnum LTS 17. Uh, it's a airless paint sprayer from uh, Lowe's. Retails for around $300. So I picked this up at Lowe's. They sell a similar version at uh, Home Depot. I believe it's the... It's like the 7 or something? 17? Yeah, it's the X7 is what I think it is. So they're almost identical. I'm gonna unbox this and show you what it comes with. Everything you need to start spraying is here in the box. It comes with a spray tip, with the hose, everything you need to clean and spray. The only thing you need to add is your paint. Uh, so let's unbox it and see what it comes with. Okay, so we've got a nice, this is right on top, a nice laminated instruction card of how to get it set up, how to prime it, how to start spraying, and also how to clean it. Looks like this comes in uh, probably English and Spanish. We've got a little thing here, probably a registration card, and then the uh, detailed manual. Comes with this hose here, I believe it's a 25 foot hose. It says the maximum hose you can use with this sprayer is 100 feet. And uh, just some stats about it. It's a 5 8 horsepower sprayer. Uh, the tip sizes it can use is uh, 0 0.009 inch through 0 0.017. 3,000 PSI, 0 0.31 gallons per minute or 1.17 liters per minute spray. So this particular one has a nice handle. There's, there's a plastic version that's kind of more plasticky, but this particular uh, spray handle is nice and it's all aluminum and uh, it's all metal parts, it looks like. There's like a plastic safety lock here, uh, and then the plastic spray tip. The actual spray tip is in here already, so we can just loosen this and take a look at that spray tip. The spray tip included TRU515 27 Bravo 19 Alpha. So it's a 515 spray tip, and uh, it just goes right in there. So we'll take this off. This is just sh telling us how to use it. So it's saying when you're spraying, there's like a, I don't know if I can focus on it or not, but this is the actual part that it sprays out of. And then this is kind of the inlet. And so this is reversible. So as you spray, you can reverse it and spray to kind of clean out anything that gets clogged in there and then turn it back. So it just teaches you how to use that. Put that back in there. And then you just tighten this here. And there's also, I have an extension I'm gonna put on here. There's an extension part that comes out, I think it's about 24 inches is the one I have, so that you can spray, kinda of gets, I don't know, closer to what you're spraying without having to get your hand right up next to it. Also in this bag with the hose is a bottle of pump armor. So when you clean this out, you just hook it up to a, a garden hose, and you or you can suck water from a bucket to clean it out, but you wanna use this pump armor uh, if you let it sit for longer than a day or two. Uh, so this pump armor kind of cleans it out and it's sort of like a, uh, it's a, what is it, like an antifreeze and also cleans and protects the metal parts in there so that it doesn't cause damage to the actual sprayer. We got a little tip for cleaning. So if you do hook a hose up to this part, you can turn it off there or on, just a little ball valve is what's inside there. Uh, and so that will go on the end there if you want to have that. Uh, the actual sprayer here has a nice little uh, screen that just threads into the garden hose or our garden hose fitting, which is what's on the bottom here. And so that'll just thread on there. And that just helps if we have like some, like with a latex paint, if you have like some of that sort of starting to dry and harden, this will keep that hard paint from getting sucked up and getting stuck in uh, here. There's also a filter right here where it comes out of the hose and another filter, sort of, I think there's a filter right here as well. We can take a look at those. Comes with a 110 volt plug if you're spraying in the US like I am. So just powered by 110 volts. It looks like a pretty heavy duty. So this part here will, will fold up and uh, then it tightens here on the sides. And that way we can kind of wheel it around. It's got these wheels on the bottom. So we can wheel it around. It's got a little hook here so we can hook our paint bucket to it, whether it's a one gallon or a five gallon. Then when we tilt it back, we can roll that paint around. Uh, and then also this part here will be for our hose. Uh, so we'll put that on when it's all untangled. It's got a little cage up here to put that hose on. So all we need to do to start spraying is uh, put this in the paint. We toggle here whether we're priming or not. And it looks like uh, for this one, when it's pulled directly uh, out, 
So when it's horizontal is when it's in prime mode, which means it'll just suck paint up this hose and then put it down this little hose. So we'll just keep circulating it within the paint bucket. But then as soon as we push this down, it will send it out the hose. And the hose here, we can just connect right on the front. It's got a little red uh, cap covering it. So we'll take that cap off and then we'll just cut. This hose here has some, uh, kind of like some bungee string keeping it together. So we'll cut all those off and get our hose ready. And like I mentioned before, we already have our spray tip in. Our hose is uh, all free now. So I'm just gonna hook this right here. And it is uh, correct threaded. It's not like a gas line or anything. So it's righty tighty, lefty loosey. I'll get that snug with my fingers and I'll just tighten it down maybe a quarter or half turn just to get it a little bit tighter but you don't need to go too crazy it looks like about a quarter turns all you need to get that and then everything else should be uh, tightened you can check and make sure not a bad idea to make sure that all this stuff is tightened the way it's supposed to be but it seems like it is tightened pretty well so as you're spraying the only things you'll want to pay attention to is this here can become loose if you have this really really tight you're not going to be able to turn your spray tip and if it's not tight enough it's just going to be loose and you're not going to have good spray results. To toggle the pressure, there's a knob here on the side that we can turn and we can have it in prime mode is where I want to start. You can have it low and then all the way up to this high spray and that just controls the spray pet pressure and the amount of paint that's coming out of the spray tip. Well guys, that's just a quick look at the Magnum LTS 17 unboxing and getting it set up to go. You can see there's not much assembly required. All we really had to do was connect the hose right here uh, and we're ready to start spraying. So check out another video showing how to get this primed and start spraying uh, properly with it. But uh, thanks for watching and catch you in the next video.